Jonas again for our noon time reflection on this Good Friday. I hope this has been um, a special Holy Week for you so far. Today is, is the day that all of history was waiting for, all the people of God. This was the culmination of God's promise back in Genesis to Adam and Eve that they would send, he would send, a deliverer to undo the curse that sin and death had brought. And today, as Jesus died on a cross, uh, that promise came to be. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth. For the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. The centurion, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely this was a righteous man. Darkness came over the land from noon this time until three o'clock. The sun stopped shining. There were many spectacular things happened at that time. And as you read Matthew 27, you see all of them. The curtain was torn from top to bottom. Many tombs were opened and people who had died were raised to life. They went into the city and spoke to people. There was an earthquake. Many things happened because this was a very significant time. I want to think about that darkness just for a moment. There was darkness for three hours from 12 o'clock to three o'clock. That must have been very strange. We live in a world of light, don't we? And many of us live in places where there is light pollution. We often talk about that. So you don't really see, certainly at night time, you can't see the sky. There's, so many, there's just light everywhere. But when you go into a place where there is no light and you look at the stars in the sky and you can see their brilliance, her space, the universe just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. The wonders of what you can see when the light is gone. Sometimes in the darkness, we can see the brightest. Perhaps at this time, when the world is challenged, when the whole world seems to have stopped, when in a sense the world has become a dark place, people can't do what they want to do, people are losing jobs, people are getting ill, people are dying. There's a darkness over the land. How long it will last, we've got no idea. But maybe in this time of darkness, it will give us a chance to see things that we couldn't ordinarily see. We can see a God who loves us, a God who is with us even when we're in isolation, a God who's with us even when we're in intensive care, a God who's with us when we walk down the street, but a God who made us and knows us and loves us. Two things that are highlighted though and spotlighted by the death of Jesus today are these. The first one is the awfulness of sin, that the Son of God had to die to pay the price for your sin, for my sin. It highlights, there is a spotlight on the awfulness of our predicament, the hopelessness of our predicament. Sin is serious and we're all tainted by it. But the second thing is, the spotlight is shone on the love of God that is bigger than our sin. The love of God that encompasses the whole world. Isn't that what it says? God loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son. He sent Jesus to die on that cross for you, for me. The awfulness of our predicament, but the wonder of God's love for you and I. Isn't that amazing? So as we spend time today reflecting on us, let us just think about that. And as we spend time in the darkness of the pandemic we find ourselves in, let's use this time to see things that we wouldn't ordinarily see, to look at things that we wouldn't ordinarily look at, to see him, because it's all about him. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find that this time 
is a gift to us in which he can speak to us and be with us and turn our world upside down. We're going to spend just a moment praying and we're going to think about our darkness and you're going to think about his light, Jesus, the light of the world, who came, who gave, and who on Sunday, we remember, rose again. So let's pray together, shall we? Let's pray. And again, let's just take this moment's quietness to bring to him the things we want to say, whatever that may be. Let's use that, do that in this quietness. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Good Friday. We thank you, Lord, for a time to be still and to reflect about a God who loves us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are willing to come to take on our flesh, to leave the glory of heaven because you loved us, to come to seek and to save that which was lost. You are the Good Shepherd. You come to fill us up you are the bread of life. You come to open a way back to our God. You are the gate. You are the way. You are the truth and the life. You are everything. Lord, we thank you that you're the light of the world. A light that cannot be hidden. You stand supreme above everything. You are God Almighty. Authority is yours. Sovereignty is yours. Glory is yours. So, Father, we thank you for this day. Help us to reflect this day. Help us to realize how much we're loved and the hope that you bring. Father, we pray for those who are maybe feeling hopeless today, for those simply in their minds, their hearts, or their physical being, Lord, are feeling broken. Father, we pray that you, the great physician, will bring healing to everyone. Lord, again, we lift our world up before you and we pray that this time will not be a time that is lost on us, but the time that is used by you to turn us back to you, to bring us close to you, to teach us what it means to follow you. Father, be with our doctors and nurses and scientists. Be with our politicians. Be with our delivery drivers and our postmen. Be with all those who are working, Lord, to make society function to a degree. Father, bless them. But Lord, we want to say to bless the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And so, Father, we thank you and we pray. In his name. Amen. Tonight we will be having our Tenebrae service at 8pm. This is a service that is being pre-recorded and it will be shown on our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. Isn't that amazing? Whatever that means. But it can be accessed through our website or maybe through our Facebook page. Uh, but it's at 8pm tonight. It's a service of Shadows Tenebrae. If you'd like to be part of that, we're going to have seven readings seven candles and if you're able to set up seven candles uh, to participate in this service as though we are here together that would be really good and then on sunday morning easter day we will celebrate the risen jesus at 11 a.m via facebook live we'll also be on tomorrow at 12 noon facebook live so thank you for joining us have a lovely day and until we meet again be blessed